you think he'll survive in Yorkshire, Jack? They'll have him for bloody breakfast. TV tomorrow at 9, Hill Street Blues. The award-winning series is back. I would very much like to know why my client just collapsed on the floor out there. We're a little testy, aren't we? We don't, as a rule, get shot at before lunch. Try the trunk, Howard. This is the police. Come on with your hands up, you're surrounded. You won't forget to come by, will you? I mean, Frank Jr. would just be heartbroken if you did. Oh, I won't forget, I promise. Frank, you're backing me into a corner. Yes. Today I'm feeling I want a wife. And a home. And maybe even another kid. And I want all that with you, Counselor. Please don't bully me. Hill Street Blues returns to ITV tomorrow at 9. Please, miss, aren't you in a way? Well, you've come to the right place. We can help you run away to thousands of places at Thomas Cook. When you've picked where to go, we make sure you get a really good price. Then Barbara will help if you need a visa or a car. And Derek knows all about traveler's checks and currency. Oh, Hi. Come on. We'll come back soon and then we can all run away with Thomas Cook. Nobody knows more about holidays than Thomas Cook. Don't just book it. Thomas Cook it. Before you splash out this summer, choose a holiday abroad with more in the package. Holiday Club Continental. There's lots to do by day. Entertainment by night. Bags of fun for the kids. More for all the family. And practically everything's included in the price. So choose Holiday Club Continental for holidays with more in the package. Ask your travel agent or phone this number now. Feel a new man with this subtle splash-on body rub. Enlivened, invigorated. A man of action. Alternatively, splash out on a pack of Panama cigars. This will bring you instant six appeal. Because there are six of those smooth-smoking Panama cigars in every pack. Panama, the only cigars with six appeal.
If you're going on holiday abroad, don't worry. Nobody actually treats you like this. Just ask anyone who's ever been on a wings holiday. Wings treat you like an individual. There's an enormous range of hotels and destinations. From Mallorca to Mombasa at a wide range of prices to suit your pocket. Nobody wants a holiday like this. So this year, pick up a wings brochure from your travel agent. Wherever you're going, don't fly without wings. The Gillette Slalom Disposable with twin blades and a pivoting head. Slalom. More of a shave, less of a drag. At 11.30 tonight, the medicine men look at healing, but at 10.30... Right after the news, it's the flash of lightning, known nowadays as Clive James. It's this problem of what I should uh, put on my person, because I've been in the country, back in the country for 36 hours, and I've obviously forgotten how to dress, because I'm burned to a crisp, so I've got myself this hat to put on top of the sunburn. Now, is this the right sort of hat? Yes, but it should go on before the sunburn. <laughs> The first thing to do was pick a spot. You have to be the right distance from the pretty girl so as to see them from the corner of your eye without scaring them away. It takes years of practice and I seem to have lost the knack. The next step was to put on the zinc cream designed to stop the nose falling into the lap. The flash of lightning, alias Clive James, right after the news. This is London Weekend Television broadcasting from our studios on the South Bank. Now we go over to ITN for the latest world news. Six hundred stranded motorists face a third night together. Home Secretary attacks his own law and order hardliners. Poland, the church, goes on the offensive. And where they took grenades to tackle the weather. Good evening. 600 motorists are spending their third night in emergency centres at Bridge End in South Wales after being cut off by the blizzards. They were rescued from their vehicles on Friday after snow completely blocked the M4. Tonight, dozens of abandoned lorries still litter the motorway, but police eventually managed to reopen one lane. Max Perkins of HTV Wales reached the emergency centres by helicopter. There have been about a thousand people staying at four emergency centres in the Bridgend area since Thursday, the biggest of them, the local council recreation centre, holding up to 400. They could be there for several more days. There are lorry drivers, families trying to go on holiday, commercial travellers, people of all sorts from all parts of the country, all having to learn to live together. Sleeping, eating, visiting the bar and disco dancing for the more energetic have been the main pastimes. They've got blankets, heating, but what about food? We have received an enormous amount of help from local retailers, 